Hello. What is up, everybody? Thank you, Fishy, for the 42 months. That is a really long time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> chat, does anyone know how I got seven grails? Let's see if anyone can figure this out. Because, you know, it's seven grails at the same time. Not like, uh... You wailed. You can't wail to get grails! You robbed the bank. So, um, I'm not sure, but if you burn coins, I don't think you can get, um, uh, I don't think you can get the grails at the same time. I think it's one at a time. But, uh, yeah, I forgot to turn in the grail fragments from, what do you call it, uh, the, the piece of shit, the garbage game mode, grail front, that's the one. So I just turned them all in at once. But hey, this account could use them, so let me see. Do I actually want to grail anyone over here? Hmm. I mean, there's always going for 120. Like on Gwen. There's Gil. I think we, we already grailed Atalante. I mean, could technically go to 100, but I don't know if I want to go that far. We'll see. She is green, so there is that. More. So yeah, Jonah Art got buffed. We actually need to do her. Why is it playing the same song again? I can't help but notice that it's doing that. One moment. Anyway, um, yeah, we need to do the Jonah Art buff quest. So the buff Jalter, she's got a fifty percent battery because, of course. That's what they do, right? That's just how you buff units to try to make them relevant is just give them a billion battery. But anyway, uh, Jolter's got 50% battery on her third skill, and Jonah Arc now has team-wide 20% battery on her first skill, and then also a three-turn 20% art up, and then she makes more stars per turn. So a pretty big buff for both of them. Jonah Arc, though, getting a battery like that is kind of nice. Makes it easier to use her as a support. Uh, let's just cheese the shit out of these stages. Get them over with real quick. God, get that off the team. Uh, who needs Bond over here? Uh, I guess she does, because she's a five star. Hard to get coins. Limited five star at that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, not much I can do about that. I guess you cut this one. Oh, whatever. I should put on like an FP one or a some crap QP one, but I don't actually care enough to do that. Or 
Really do need to catch up on the main story. We've been going pretty slow. I don't know why people are always asking me to play in A. I don't play in A. I'm not playing multiple versions of FGO, thank you. One is fucked enough, thank you very much. Also, like, my god. I, I'm, I, if you haven't noticed, I'm barely keeping up with JP. Like, there's so much going on right now. Like, I haven't even beat OC2 uh, here, and it's been out for like half a week or a week or some shit. And I want to play Helldivers, I want to play Slay the Spire. I would say Dragon's Dogma 2, but we saw how that worked out. Why did that game have to be bad? So I keep seeing people be like, well, you know, the game plays good, but I don't even think that's true. Like, uh, I was annoyed with Dragon's Dogma before I knew about all the microtransaction stuff. Like, it's just feels so much clunkier than the first game. See, I don't really like it gameplay-wise. I don't like it monetization-wise. I don't like it performance-wise. So I'm just like, eh. Yeah, it really does feel like, um... I don't even think it feels like 1.2. I feel like it feels like Dragon's Dogma 0.5. I like Dark Arisen more than Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, to be fair, I didn't play Dragon's Dogma 2 very much. And I tried to refund it, but the By the way, this is bullshit. So, you don't start seeing the really serious performance problems in Dragon's Dogma until you've been playing it for a bit, because they don't... The, the real performance issues stem from, like, there being a lot of AI around, right? Be it in a town or enemies and stuff like that, and that's... It's coded really badly, and it's really CPU intensive when there's a lot of AI around, and that's what breaks the frame rate. But you don't see that until you've probably been playing the game for two hours or more, and then you can't refund it. Because I played the game for five and a half hours, and then they wouldn't let me refund it, right? But I'm like, I didn't see how bad this was until I played it for about that long. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's a really common thing too, the whole, you know, it gets better in 100 hours. And sometimes that's true in some games, but it doesn't even matter. No game should be... Like, why would I want to slog through a hundred hours of suffering to then have fun when I could go do something else that's just fun from the get-go? Yeah, we'll play, uh, we'll play more Slay the Spire, but later we're, uh, we're gonna play Helldivers for the bonus stream tonight. Which I'm really looking forward to trying that out. But... Got to get in the OC2 here. I've actually been wanting to play some FGO to see the rest of the stories, so... Happy to play that. I didn't realize this until recently, but apparently there's Capcom stands. Hello! I can't even imagine that. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma 1 does start off slow as well, but the thing is, a lot of my criticisms of 2's gameplay, it doesn't really matter, because I, I know the formula. It's kind of like if you play Dark Souls 4, and, uh, you know, the movement just feels bad. You, you know the series, right? Um, you know, I know Dragon's Dogma, and I don't like the way they're, the, the way the skills feel, the way the movement feels, um, the way jumping feels, the way, like, rolling feels, like, on the, uh, Thief class and stuff, like, compared to the first, and a lot of it just feels worse. Like, I just don't like the, uh, like, the physics of the game very much in comparison to the first one. Alright, we got, I think, one more stage to do here. Also, a lot of the flaws of the first game are still in the second game, and that's just really not forgivable in my opinion. It's like you had so much time to sort this out. They didn't really improve anything. Probably the most disappointed I've been in a game in a long time. I, I don't normally get excited for games that much anyway. Um, it's just I like the first one so much, and I didn't. I thought it would be so easy to be like, yeah, I just look at what was good about the first game and then iron out the... Uh, the rough bits, and they just did not do that. 
I don't know why we're killing St. George right now. I wonder if you fight a saint every level. Who was... I didn't pay attention. Who did we fight on the previous one? Wayne, you couldn't get a crit, buddy. Although I guess you killed anyway. That extra attack, dear God. I wish someone could have saved me from buying it. Because it's $70, man. I wanted that refund. They wouldn't let me have it. Fuck them. What I was going to do is refund it, and then maybe if they, like, patched it up and fixed it and went on sale way down the road, then I'd play it again. But, but yeah, it's 70, not 60. You know, triple A, man. But again, I liked the first game so much that I wasn't, like, too worried about it. Why is this song always so loud? The th sad thing is, though, Dragon's Dogma is going to do really well, though. People just love their, you know, RPG games that are not complete dog shit. Because even though, like, okay, I think Dragon's Dogma 2's combat in many ways is a downgrade from the first game. But it's still better than, like, almost most of the combat systems and RPGs and stuff out there. So, like, that's enough. And then just, you know, having a game to explore and all that is, like, enough for a lot of people. So it's gonna sell really well, and even though like everyone agrees that the business model is terrible, like people would rather play a good game, so they or a good enough game, so they just don't care. So and that tells Capcom to keep doing it. Like oh yeah, we don't we don't actually need to release our games optimized. We don't we can actually put in really scummy uh, microtransactions. Uh, we can we just if anything they're gonna push it even farther. It's like every time they do scummy stuff and they get paid for it, that just tells them to do it again. Like, what executive is going to look at, like, hey, we did all this scummy stuff and it made a bunch of money, so why are they going to tell the developers to stop doing that? Of course they're not going to do that. They're going to tell them to keep doing it. Oh, it's only two waves. I, oh, I guess... Is this, air quotes, a saint chat? Who who was the first uh, enemy? Did anyone pay attention? Because we have St. George and Kodamine, so... I think that's the theme here. It's pretty funny. You know what? Let's grab some buffs. A lot of health at neutral. Yeah, all religious. I mean, he's not actually religious, but you know, close enough. One of Billy's strengthening quests, every boss has a gun of some sort. Mordred had one where everyone had armor. Come on, Achilles. We need big boy damage. If he crits, we'll probably kill. Come on. There you go. Alright, back to the actual story. Oh, let me look if I can upgrade my Jonah Arc skills. Because now her skills are kind of good. We could show Joan of Arc off in gameplay and stuff here. See how her general support is. Too bad I don't really have art DPS. I've really noticed this on my accounts. I really roll on Buster and Quick. I don't roll on a lot of art people. It's not like I have a problem with art gameplay. It's just coincidentally the characters I like end up not being art very often. Let's see. Skills. This menu is such a shit show. Uh oh. Fuck. Oh, skill gems, right? I'm gonna need caster and, uh... Man, she takes... Why did she take Berserker? The hell is that? Okay, let's see if I can at least get those rider ones real quick. Chad, it's actually a farming stream. You gotta at least get that first skill to 10 because that gives you the 20% battery. Riders? No riders! Fuck! Well... Uh... uh and I already bought them, I remember. Maybe we'll get gold rider gems from the story. I could slot Jonah Arc from my main account if we want to try her out that way. Let me see. It's up on my other monitor here. Uh, 
Um, put it in the first one here. What? A, what's the skill ranks? Oh, 10, 10, 10. Well, how about that? Um, I mean, if you want to NP turn one, you give her K-scope, but, um... 2030 is fine. Long-term NP gain up is fine. Was it Prism Ilya's good? Edmund Stare. There's uh, what's the one where you get like NP all the time? Isn't it Prism Ilya? Something? Yeah, that, that one. That's pretty good. All right. Or Prism Cosmos or whatever the hell. All right, fighting a berserker. Not really a good time to use a ruler, but uh, whatever. So chat is, is there only one Antoinette here or is Antoinette regular and alter here? I assume you know by this point. Yeah, I kind of figured there's only one, and it's like, uh, she pretended or something. Kind of the vibe I was getting. You never saw them at the same time, so. Pretender, well, she's actually an Avenger, but. You do seem to be faking it right now. Oh yeah, that disgusting thing. Good God. Like living intestines or something. What a n wow, well, I can't believe they're using that ascension in the story. Especially with the hat. Suddenly Jolter. Like how she just slides in there. That is NP or something? All right, terrible time to use her, but we'll try it out anyway. You know, Ku is pretty good here. We haven't really used him this entire time. as uh, anti-berserker. And uh, what else we want here? Well, an art unit would make sense, but we don't have a lot of those. Wow, none of my high-level people are art, other than, I guess, Medea, but I don't think that really counts. Well, a hundred face. I suppose there's that. Yeah, there's Shiki, but uh, she's not exactly a great unit on this account. She's just a vanilla level 80. Um, that's about, that's a, probably the best art DPS we have over here, though. Uh, I mean, Hunter Face is okay. Don't arc in the three stars, apparently. Good old proto Ku. I'm sure that'll do great. You know what, chat? Oh yeah, I still gotta fix those skill ranks. I gotta farm so many caster gems then. Next time it's up, I'm gonna have to just sit down and grind that crap. Um... Yeah, fuck it. Everyone's a three star. I didn't really even mean to do that, but uh... Fine. I have the virtual one. I do, but it's not super high level. Pretty 
Really need to limit break that. I could see there being debuffs here. Oh yeah, we could have done Pope Joan. Damn it. Oh, I wasn't looking at chat. We'll, we'll do that in a minute. This wouldn't have been a good stage for it anyway. Oh, they're, that's so lazy, dude. I mean, I guess it works well enough, but uh, that's just like the, a reskin of that uh, like blue essence thing. Doesn't actually look like what it looks like in the, uh, the story. All right, they have damage resist and there's nine of them. Man, look at this. 10 short on everybody. That's rough. Let's see if Ku can just delete one of these. Depends on how big the damage resist is, I suppose. He got it. I'm so, man, they're pretty tanky then, though. Because Ku's uh, 100 and he's got anti berserker passive. I should have cast her first skill. She would have gotten her NP there. Unfortunate. Guess we yeet the art up because uh, it's a good time to heal. And I'm not NPing right now anyway. Surely Ku is going to one-shot this. You know, I should have used Jonah Arc's art card because uh, Hunter Face only needs the one. Pink Flames. Kind of an odd enemy to be pink. Man, Jonah Arc is getting whooped. These guys actually hit pretty hard. I like how they're getting fucked up and Ku doesn't give a shit. That's how it goes. Neither would Santa, Karna. Oh, please. Ku's PFA is way better than Karna's evade, and he's got guts, and he's got heal. Chat, they're gonna buff Ku, aren't they? Like, sometime, you know, in the next year or two, I, it's gonna happen. It, it's the third skill. Everyone's like, oh, it's so vanilla! So they're, it's gonna happen. And they're... I don't even mind as long as they buff the other Lancers first, right? Then it's not a big deal. But like, man, like Deer Mid still needs a buff. Taiga still needs a buff. Baldi certainly needs a, like three buffs. Like he's so stupid. And Hector and Romulus, man, he had 50% battery. They, they, I don't think they'd give, give him a 50% battery. They want you rolling for those five stars. But uh, uh, let's see, what do I do here? I guess I deck this one in the schnoz. Our chain wouldn't have been terrible there. That art is really stiff though, chat. I'm not gonna lie. That is... It, it, it doesn't feel quite right. Like, I think the flag is moving or some shit. Or at least it should be because, you know, it's a flag. Like, she's so static. It's not the worst cut I've ever seen, though. I don't think this will do anything. Man, her with Waver, because Waver and Jonah Arc are the easiest, like, meta supports to get. I don't know if she's a meta support now, but meta-ish, right? But, uh, like, Waver is really easy to get, especially with the free five-star. Um, and, you know, most old accounts have Jonah Arc just because you can get Spookfire, and over the years, you're just incredibly likely to randomly get Jonah Arc. 
Um, so if you don't, let's say you don't have Castoria, you don't have Merlin, you don't have Scatty, you don't have Veach, you don't have Obram, you know, any of the like rare meta units, but you've got Waver and Jonah Arc, you're probably in pretty good shape now. Because, you know, she's got the uh, nice NP with the minor defense up, and the Waver's got the defense up damage cut, and now they're giving each other NP gain, right? Which, so that, that's pretty good. I actually suspect you could do a lot of content with Jonah Arc, Waver, and then whatever applicable DPS. And then the back row could be your, you know, budget, your free-to-play supports that you get. You know, David and Hans or whatever. And you could summon a friend's cast story or whatever to mix in. So yeah, if you get Jonah Ark and Waver now, I, I think you can pretty much handle anything. Alright, let's see here. Is she rated up right now? Because I saw Jolter was rated up, but I didn't actually look at the uh, banners. I'm doing the defense down when I'm not in ping because the NP is one shot anyway, so it's like, why bother? No? Wow, that's surprising. She's not as popular as Jalter, but uh, I would have thought they would have rated her up anyway. I guess she's not in the story though, where Jalter is. Now, if these guys weren't Berserkers, she would be at almost full HP right now. By the way, Ku is still full HP and has never cast Guts or his heal. I'm just saying. Three enemies left. Oh, we, we should do Jonah Ark and Jolter on the same team. That's actually probably decent now, although... Uh, the art up is wasted. Eh, I mean, Jolter's still got two art cards. It's not, it's not that wasted. It's a shame I can't NP here, because I would buy time for then 100 face to get all of her stuff back. Oh, I guess I need to NP this middle one. Maybe we get lucky and she doesn't get attacked, because then she can bounce back super hard. Damn it. Close. Oh yeah, she might die too. I love how they're just, you know, dying and dead, and then Ku is not even hurt. Like, <laughs> it's no joke, man. Ku's really tanky. And like, even if I got unlucky and the attacked Ku a bunch, she can just guts and shit. Chat. Here comes the damage, boys. Level 90, NP5. Got this little attack up from David. You know, the free-to-play classic here. It's all part of a rainbow chain, chat. The Berserker enemy. Berserker enemy. Forty-five k. Imagine that if it wasn't a Berserker. I mean, honestly, that's crazy though. She didn't even kill it. Like, I, I imagine not killing a like a was it like a fifty k Berserker. Uh, I mean, uh, it was okay. I was actually expecting it to be more like forty k to be honest. I'll take like forty five. If Ku's Buster card was in third place, I think he would have done more. I'm sad 100 face died though. Bad luck. Those enemies actually did hit really hard though. And they crit a lot. It's kind of their shtick, I guess. So did the guy in the gray suit make these or, or summon these or something? Was that like confirmed with that scene earlier? That like fuck up her command spells or something? You know, if they're trying to make the theme, um... MC, you know, Avenger mindset, then they really should have like, you know, Jolther get stabbed in the face. I'm just saying. Like, that's, that's kind of the shit I would expect out of them.
Yeah, or literally any of the servants. Because yeah, I know the NPCs dying is just so meaningless. It's just weird that they expect like an emotional reaction out of that. It's so dumb. Like some SQ here. What is rated up here? Oh, Antonio. That's cool. I bet you people are rolling on this banner. <sighs> Chat, I have to at least try. I've tried many times. It never works out, but I mean... The thing is, if I actually got him, I'd be mad because he'd be NP1, which is garbage. And then also his mats to level up are just the like worst thing ever. But uh, I do like Moriarty a lot. You know, his mats are so cancer. And like, I don't, I really would want him in P2 or higher. But in order to get in P2, you have to get in P1 at some point. You see, wow, I didn't have her yet over here. Shit. I guess I didn't roll on her banner on the, the ult, only rolled on the main. She's pretty cool. Also, very fun gameplay wise. I actually think she's one of the more fun three stars to use. He hasn't really gotten any screen time since getting added, though. Because she was in, uh, what was it, 6.5? Oh my god, chat! Who even needs SQ? Now just give me a- just give me another one, just, uh, real quick. Well, I, I'll- I'll take that. Man, I've tried to get Moriarty so much, uh, it's kind of crazy to actually finally have him now. Because, man, I was kind of just accepting the fact that I was never going to get him. But, now, yeah, now we have to get his mats. And we have to uh, try to get a second copy at some point. Probably have to wait for the next time he's rated up, though. It seems pretty unlikely I'd get him here. Maybe we get lucky, though. You never know. What else do we want to see here? Uh, I mean, all the three stars, really. My ult doesn't have as many coins as my- Oh sh- that could have been Moriarty! He's cool, but I already have him! Bruh! That's the wrong one! Like, I do like him, but like, seriously, I already have him. Like, that could have- that was a 70% chance to be Moriarty. Fucking game, dude. That would have been so sick. I just got MP2 Moriarty out of nowhere. Oh, excuse me, we don't have any SQ. Well, you know what? We'll do, um... We'll do the singles, you never know. I really, really do want MP2 Moriarty. One of the most sought after five stars for me, I would say, that I don't have. I think, actually, he might be number one, actually. For ones that I don't already have. Yeah, I, I can't think of any other five star that I want more than him. Uh, we might grill him, we'll see. You know, I don't grill five stars loads just because they're already so good at um, at 90. But I do like Moriarty a lot, so we'll see. Certainly a possibility. All right. Yeah, Storylock servants are in a lot of banners, actually. They're in like White Day, Valentine's Day. They're in like class banners, things like that. So they're ultimately not that hard to get as long as you pay attention, really. Um, you may not get them like the first, you know, six months of playing the game, but as, as you play, it's definitely going to happen. This is the regular, uh, the regular ult account. I, I obviously am not that low on SQ on my main. Uh, I'm too careful for that shit. Uh, let's see though. Man, that sucks that we got that spook, though. I mean, it's, at least it's a spook of a character that I like. But, um... Man, I would have really preferred getting that second Moriarty. That would have been so good. I'm gonna have to start playing the ult account more, though. It needs it needs to farm a lot of, of gems and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and level Moriarty a little bit, just so uh, he's easy to find in the menus and stuff. And I don't want to forget or anything. Although I don't think I'm going to forget getting Moriarty. Where he at? Well, there's archers. There he is. Yeah, 
I kind of just wasted that one star foe because I'm going to have to use another foe anyway. But it's kind of just wasting inventory space, so whatever. Yeah, he is good at NP3. And I do like that guy a lot. So like, if I was going to get a spook, that's one of the better spooks. Like, absolutely. I don't know how many Antonio cones we have. I'm pretty sure this account had him at NP5. Although that, oh fuck, I just realized that was probably before uh, the coin system was added. So I don't actually have coins for those older NP ranks. I fucking hate that, dude. Ugh, three star life. All right, that'll do for now. Where is Antonio? God, he's only got 90. I, if I get his bond up, though, I can get a passive. You know, I don't know if this account leveled Antonio. Okay, it did. Oh, man. Oh, come on, dude. And it sucks I only got one uh, copy of him from uh, those rolls. It actually wouldn't surprise me, though, if my alt account already has a lot of the mats for, um... For Moriarty, because I don't, like, level stuff too often over here. So it, it may not have a hard time. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see if we can get, uh, Moriarty off those five. You never know. Oh my god, just like that chat. I deserve this. It's fine. Don't don't uh uh you know earned chat earned totally earned. Let's fucking go all that well now I really have to farm his shit. Because now that he's in P2, he's like really usable, so yeah, now I have to do it. Fuck. Man, I went so long without Moriarty, now I got him in P2. How about that? Where he at? Level 30. Well. Rigged. Nothing like monthly tickets coming in clutch. Oh, I think I've been leveling the archer tree for Gilgamesh anyway. So that'll help him out. He needs an NP upgrade. He, he needs a lot of things. I hate the buff they gave him with the stupid evil thing. It's so dumb. Because like, if they're already evil, it doesn't do anything. So he's like, he didn't even get a buff. Like, when you have characters that are kind of eh, and then you give them a niche buff, it's like, what the hell, man? I'm gonna save the other tickets because we're so low on rolls now. That was totally worth it though. Man, when are we gonna get uh, more information about Fate Strange Fake Man? I don't want them to rush it. The longer they take, the more likely it'll be that it's good. Um, but I would just like to like have an estimate of when they're planning on releasing it. Even if it's like, hey, yeah, it's not coming out for a really long time. It'd be nice to, uh, to know. Um, I've read parts of Volume 9. I couldn't find good translations, though, so I've only read bits. Um, I'm kind of, like, waiting for that to get sorted out. But I know, so, like, the, so a lot of the main stuff. Definitely seemed... This Volume 9, uh, I definitely... You might want to mute if you don't want, um... Face range fake spoilers. 
Uh, it's I think it's better than the, the last two volumes, I would say. Also, why do we always have the giveaway up? But yeah, I, li I, I liked it more than the, uh, especially the last volume. But it was kind of like just setting up the finale, so, you know, we'll see. You guys never stop, do you? The whole alter ego Gilgamesh thing, though, is kind of weird. Like, it's one thing for his personality to change and all that because of the potion of youth, so he, he takes half of the potion of youth instead of the full thing. So it's like teenage Gil instead of kid Gil. So uh, kind of close to his Fate Stay Night age, right? But it's weird that that makes him an alter ego. And like, I, I haven't read all the details of that part, uh, but Mike, I'm just guessing, I, I don't I don't know, but I'm assuming it's because like, you know, he's a servant. And so, you, you know, the servants kind of have like their whole story, you know, like even though Gil is summoned at X age, he's got like the knowledge and stuff from all points in his life. And so it's like, for some reason, him drinking the potion of youth makes it so he becomes like if Gilgamesh never met in Kidu. And he's now, because he's, he went down to an age range where he hasn't met in Kidu. But I, I don't get it. I don't know if there's like some other reason for that and the underworld shenanigans. But I'm like, it, 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 why? I, I don't understand. That's really weird. But yeah, that's kind of the shtick. And so he doesn't, as far as I understand, he doesn't have Chains of Heaven. Because um, presumably, you know, he gets that, you know, after Enkidu dies. And then uh, he doesn't have Aya either. But he's, um... Like, he's more ruthless with Gate of Babylon. He's not, like, holding back all the time. So because he doesn't have uh, Aya in Chains of Heaven, he just goes ham with Gate. And, like... Oh, so I guess this is back in the schoolroom where uh, he summoned these guys. So I guess, yeah, Antonio's on his own here. Uh, all right, well, he'll, let's see what happens here. He probably, yeah, honestly, you're probably not wrong, Lost. They probably were thinking about, well, you know, if we make a different version of Gil, we can add that. Because, yeah, now they can add uh, Alter Ego Gil into, uh, into FCO, so. And part of the collab or whatever. Uh... I guess we go full NP gain. Maybe try to kill this with normal cards this turn. Oh, it's only these three actually. So no, I hit this one. Part of me wants to art quick art to just make sure I get my NP. Our extra attack should be pretty decent here. Yeah, probably should have done art quick art though. I don't think their hit counts are super high. Yeah, they're one. I should get it. Oh, there we go. That's a bunch. Or I could get double crit and get one turned. Chat, you actually lose the stage. That is so bullshit. That that was that was physically impossible. Like I had no agency over that whatsoever. I guess they just assume you're not going to get crit. You know, for once, I'm going to... Is this a blue cube? For once, I'm going to blue cube because it's literally just RNG. Like, it's literally just RNG that you don't get crit. And, like, it's not like this is, like... Obviously, you just don't die on turn one, then you NP, and that's that. Like, what a joke, dude. I, I can't believe, though, it's, like, scaled that way. You think their attack stat would be low enough to make sure that doesn't happen? Like, it's so silly. That's just them trying to waste your uh, AP right there. God, what a joke, dude. Now, I never use blue cubes ever, so I figure use it there just to save my AP. So what's its, his name? What's his name say there? Is it just like Vice Principal or something right now? Or do they actually have a name for him? 
Vice principal. Okay, I guess that one, right? The fuck is going on now? She used like an NP or something. Huh. So how did she get there before we did? I don't even... Guess we were fucking around with the, uh, the other ones. And I actually, I guess that was going on meanwhile. Like while you were in the alley. Like it's not the next day. Yeah, but we have servants, so being human doesn't really matter. But it's not the next day, so we wouldn't be going there anyway. Because I think that was like a meanwhile dick. I wish I had a room like that. I mean, this is pretty basic. Doesn't even have a computer in there, man. I wish that was a costume. Yeah, so far, no costumes for anybody. Maybe at the end of it, we'll see. I guess he's evil now. Will this be an actual boss fight though? Could be. Um, we should show off uh, Jolter. I haven't even used her since she got the uh, buff. Uh, we can use mine, but we'll see if, like, Lost is up. The Lost is 96. Yeah, NP5. That'll do. Hmm. Well, we know the boss is AoE. Could try out the uh, Jolter buff, but it's a Avenger stuff. Or the regular Joan of Arc buff. Not a good time for that, though. Man, I'm so glad I got Moriarty, though. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Antonio can wait. I want to see. 
Like, where am I with mats here? Why can't I... <sighs> fucking game, dude. Worst UI ever. Oh god, I need QP. Imagine you're like in the park with Antonio coming at you and then you're like, wait a minute, I gotta I gotta level up Moriarty and like Moriarty is just in the park just blabbing like this. I don't know if I have enough XP for this, we'll see. It's gonna be close. Did I did I buy the hundred from the mana prism shop? If I did, we'll be fine. Oh god, I gotta farm QP, I gotta farm gems, but it's a, I, it's an alt account! I don't wanna farm on a fucking alt account! Billy wouldn't wait, true. Chat, so the Babylonia anime changed a lot of stuff to pander to popular characters. Like for example, Ben K didn't get to kill Corrupted Ushi like he's supposed to. Uh, they made Quetzalcoatl do it because she's more popular, right? They did, they did a lot of stuff like that throughout it. Um, I worry that will happen to Billy if they ever animated Lost Belt 1 because he accomplishes a lot and uh, there's certainly more popular characters there, so... Like, he has a 1v1 with Atalante Alter and wins, right? And then, uh... Stops Cadoc from using his special command spell thing. Kills Anastasia. Right, goes on a little solo adventure and beats all the secret police. Uh, yeah. I'd be kind of surprised if they kept all that. Yeah, there's Musashi, obviously. There are some memes of Lost Belt 1 of like just Billy shooting everybody. It's kind of great. Can we get a Billy animation update? Like can we just... Now that animation updates are maybe back, can we just sneak that in there? Although really, I really hope the company gets sorted out and they start like making better animation updates that are like smoother and stuff. I'd want Billy to get it then. But uh, he is an archer, so they don't need to like be animated that much. Really, all you gotta do to make Billy have a good animation update is make his sprite look better. And then just shoot gun. And make really good sound effects for gun. That That's how you make guns good, is you give them good sound effects. And that kind of shit. You know, we don't need no gun foo or any bullshit like that. Like, just shoot gun good. And make it sound cool. Rainbow lasers, got it. Yeah, he's not Calamity Jane, so I don't think we have to worry about that. All right, well, we got the 90. Fuck, I, I can't use him right now, though, because I have to do all of his buffs and shit, I just realized. He's got a bunch of, like, strengthening quests and whatnot. Okay, we're not, we're not going that far. Not, not yet. Wouldn't shock me if I do end up grailing him, though. Yeah, he's got two... I need Bond as well. I'll stick him in the back row when I can. Oh, this is his passive. Let me wait on that. If I get enough Bond, I might be able to get two passives on him. Alright, how bad is it gonna be? I would like Billy to get like an attack up or a quick up on his uh, battery skill. That'd be really nice for him. Especially attack up because- oh fuck me. <sighs> we have a lot of farming to do. Anyway, um, because Billy could use his battery right into an NP 
And so the attack up affects the NP, but then you make stars for the next turn to crit with, and then if you still have an attack up, it'll affect the crits as well. So, uh, yeah, that'd be really nice. That'd honestly go a long way to making him better. It's just a simple attack up. You don't need to do anything all that fancy. If you really wanted to give him some oomph, though, you give him an attack up on his second skill and also stars per turn. But I don't think they're going to go that far. Yeah, I need gold gems for uh, Jonah Arc as well. At least I've got the uh, a lot of these. I kind of figured I did, so that, that won't be too bad to deal with. We're nowhere near a lottery event, are we, chat? Okay, a boss fight maybe is not the time to bring a five star that uh, you're not even going to use. Hmm. Could do like that. Ugh, those skill ranks. Where's Golden Carp? The gold standard for Star Bomb CEs. Shame I don't have uh, his Bond CE on this account. I got it on my main. Because he's so free to use whatever CE you want. He's super flexible. Because you don't really need his NP, generally speaking. I'll give him K-Scope. I'd give him Cope Scope, but I don't have it. I can't believe everyone voted for the arcade collab to be reran when it's not even remotely old. It was like months old and people are voting for that. It's so dumb. It's because though, like Nasu, almost like like baited them into doing it because he said they wouldn't rate up uh, Beast Nero because she's special. But I swear he's just saying that to get them to vote on the arcade collab because then obviously they're uh, gonna rate her up for that. So I, I, it's so dumb. Okay, he's got a break bar, but nothing too special here. Defense down on us. All right, she can just turn one NP. Do I need the other buster up? Uh, fuck it. Hopefully we break without needing the Buster card to be in third. Man, you could do Black Grail and Ju Fu and turn one NP with Jolter now. 342? I know we got like a, a little Avenger damage up, but he's got damage resist. Jeez. I guess she is NP5 though. And upgraded NP. But we did not need the buster up from uh, Chin Gong then. I haven't used an NP5 single target 5 star with an upgraded NP in a while. Jeez. And now we get double crit up. Ons land the attack buff. You've got one job here. 
And yeah, she's got buff block. She's actually always had that. The uh, new effect she got was Star Bomb. He missed the attack up. Why did I even do the NP then? I mean, it was enough damage anyway, but... Chat, if they wanted this thing to be successful, why didn't Antoinette attack you at the same time? Right, why not send the grunts, Antonio, and Antoinette all at once? I feel like this is a better use of your forces. I'm just saying. Old NP. And if the vice principal guy can fight, then him too. These guys do hit damn hard though. Well, Jolter's killing it though. She's NPing pretty rapidly, even with the like budgetest of most budgety supports. And also Berserkers lower your NP gain. Man, um, you work with like Waver and stuff, it's gonna be pretty damn strong, let alone like Veach Oberim nonsense. Okay, this turns a bit, yikes. Well, Hans is a hero. If this was Kairos Hans, I actually suspect he would kill this mob right here. Yeah, most certainly. Like, do you realize how much stronger Kairos Hans is than mine? Mine is level 65. His is, uh, I think, 120. Right? That's almost double the uh, the levels. And then 2k foe, so it's actually over double the levels. It's quite a bit of stuff there. Let's see if they can kill all three. Come on, Hans. Damn it! I tried. And look, she gets her NP. And she gets the NP up from Hans. Let's see how hard this hits. We don't have the buster up from Chen Gong, but uh... Oh, wait a minute. Do we get that other attack up, though? Come on. Come on. There you go. So she's double attack up, NP up, buster up. I think we got him. Yeah, I, th I think... What the fuck? Dude, that, that, I, I, we're not working with Oberim, you know, or Veach, or Merlin, or, you know, even Waver. That's fucking, that was Hans. You know, because Chin Gong didn't have his buffs. That was just Hans. And we're almost doing a million damage. Ridiculous, dude. Yeah, NP5. Imagine if she was 120, dude. And like, yeah, we got that little event bonus, but they have damage resist, so that eats into that... I'm guessing our damage up, though, is better, higher than the damage resist, I would presume. I know the story support one is, because the story support one gets an extra damage boost. Weebs. Oh, their damage resist doesn't work against Avengers. Oof. They really want you to use Avengers in this story, then, huh?
So I swear I've seen the damage resist icon pop up though when you're doing damage. Maybe that's only in certain stages though. I don't have to pay more attention. You know, they totally could have had Antonio sacrifice the grunts during that fight, like the ghosts in Lost Belt 1, and had like a similar version of that fight, but harder. That, that would have been cool. Too much work, yeah, I guess so. So far, there's only been one real boss fight this entire story, which is kind of whack. I think from their perspective, there's been two. But let's not kid ourselves. The the fight with Brito Mart when you use the Force uh, Ushi, there's just, you can't lose. Like it's so easy. But you fucking stun the boss nonstop. So I'm guessing uh, you're just like staying undercover because other people around. That doesn't make much sense though because they're all NPCs, so fuck them. So far, Ricky, uh, Osaka Hime, and um, Mozart haven't really gotten to do anything. Why are we doing any of this anyway? Well, we're under the assumption that we have to do the seven trials to like, you know, get out. But uh, I'm sure there's some bullshit going on here. All right, I have no idea what we're even fighting. What shall we use this time? Not that many, uh, you know, if we get like a big Nobu, that'd be a fun one to use. He's kind of rare these days, though. There's Gorgon. Be nice to have a strong... What? It's a fucking Bond CE. Get that shit out of here, dude. Like, I, it would be fun to use Gorgon in the Singularity at some point, but uh, I don't know if anyone's going to ever slot one worth a damn. It'd be kind of fun to see an AOE uh, Avenger in action. Because there's probably trash mobs here, so. Jesus Christ. I think that one has burn on it. But it's actually kind of hard, though, to get the uh, effect of that CE here. Alright, why not? That is just so strong. It's madness. Let's see if I can... Uh... Add a burn command code in here. 
make it a little bit easier. Why did I just get a master mission done? Twenty K attack. Oh, man. Could have uh, 25 or uh, 2500 if um, you yeah, like Black Grail or something like that. One of the 2400 attack ones. They actually just added a new 2400 attack CE. Like the alternate version of the Zoken CE, where when you die, instead of NP sealing, you skill seal. Which is not nearly as good, but I'm sure in a rare circumstance it'll be good. But overall, NP seal is way better than skill seal. Unless you're running Bazette, though. I will say, it actually is good on a Bazette team. Because skill sealing them makes them attack, so you can counterattack. So he's the music teacher, but I'm guessing even as an NPC, Mozart's better at music anyway. Oh, he's super angry now. Wow, he's uh, not too intimidated. That's amazing. Oh, he thinks it's like some kind of trick or something. That's a face. Really hope Mozart gets to do something, you know, in the story here. Or just, you know, have some characterization for God's sakes. He's a really interesting character and he hasn't really gotten to do anything in a long time. Cosplay Club is really going all out this year, indeed. I'm guessing he couldn't hold back from seeing Mozart there. Going berserk mode. Alrighty. Hmm. Should have brought Star Bomb. Guess we just don't get the evade. Oh yeah, she can give the battery to somebody else. Crazy. Well, she is going to be affected by the damage resist, but she's 120, so that'll make it interesting. Hey, metal. Not the best NP gain on that. Come on, just one hit. One time. Come on. There you go. Wow. Hmm. You should do plenty of damage here. Unless that damage resist is just way bigger than I'm thinking. Chat, so, you know, Ort made up the grand uh, foreigner class for himself, right? He just invented that. But like, 
what if for the finale, you know, when you're summoning the Grands, you, you get to summon Ort too, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be great? Kill the final boss with Ort, you know? That'd be nice. There's no Copium here, guys. It's all uh, totally... Uh... And then, like, you know, they designed that final form of his that you never actually fight. You know, it's like Star Cell, right? It's like him where he, like, made human history longer. So he, uh, like, a more evolved heroic spirit. But you don't actually fight that one, right? It was just in, like, the cutscene. But they could, like, use that for, like, his ascension art, right? It'd be great. Grand cope. Oh, we didn't actually break, though. I should have used the third skill or, or Chen Gong's thing. Because if I had, we would have uh, broken for sure. We can take a hit. That's unfortunate. Breaking there would have been uh, really good timing wise. Seven K HP. Wasting all of the turns right now. You know, fuck it, I'm gonna save Hans here. Unnecessary buster up. Chat, if I had just done the buster up skill a few turns ago, I'd be doing NP buster buster into the next health bar right now with all these buffs and crit up and everything. Oh my god. Look, the buster chain with the buster up. Look at all this wasted damage. I mean, maybe he does an extra attack. No. Nah. I think the music's looping here. Rip Chin Gong. My bad. This is definitely not a real boss fight. Well, I mean, it's like a mini boss fight, but you'd be hard pressed to fuck this one up. Although I, uh, I seem to be trying. Yeah, I probably could have already killed him if I had lined that up better. Oh, did he NP charge on break? Because, uh... He was already at max NP, so I didn't even notice. It's always funny when the timing works out that way. Maybe I saved myself then. You know, it is pretty useful that Cuckoo gets the super invulnerability off of any invulnerability. Because there are plenty of boss fights that have Pierce, and then she can just not get screwed over by that. Pretty strong. Attack up, attack up, attack up. Yeah, I don't know how the school hasn't blown up. <laughs> like, even if, even if canonically this is Jolter... Uh, fighting and stuff. Like, you think the school would get wrecked? Oh, come on. <laughs> so, just like the first health bar that we massively overkilled, we're doing it again. Pretty cool extra attack, though. Oh, I should have brought, um... Bob Moriarty. Get some bond. Oh, here we go again. James Bob Moriarty. 
Yeah, very appropriate music for Avengers fighting each other. You know, that kind of like static effect must not work as effectively on a younger audience because they don't watch television. Like, what the hell is that? Like, their version of that is their phone not getting a good internet signal and doing the little loading circle thing. But yeah, I mean, what kids, you know, have ever seen like that kind of blip signal before, right? Like that's just not a thing anymore. And yeah, CDs, no one, no one uses CDs anymore. Although CDs have definitely lasted more than like floppy disks have. Floppy disks are fucking gone. But like CDs still do still have practical application for a variety of things. And then you got eight track before uh, cassette tape. Yeah, cassette tape didn't survive. Like that, that is that is super dead. Like CDs still have some use, DVDs still have some use, but um, yeah, cassette tape super gone, VHS super gone, and then eight track is Omega gone. Like that is just so buried. And like I have to, I just I'm so curious because for example there's like YouTubers out there that make videos and they put a lot of effort into it to give it like that old VHS tape look, right? I can think of several YouTubers that have done that. Right? And there was like that guy that made that like cartoon Dark Souls 2 trailer and he made it like that. There's all kinds of videos that have gone with that like VHS VHS tape aesthetic. And I, just, I can't imagine what that's like watching that if you're a zoomer. It's like, you know, it's, I, I just don't know what you think of it at that point. It's like, hey, this is a weird aesthetic, but you don't get like why it looks that way, right? So like, what's the point? It's all very weird. Um, I guess we're just fighting the monsters here. The classic. Basically an Avenger, right? Vinyl actually definitely lasts longer than, um, Eight track, like no, uh, no question on that one. You need to find a clue, to Antonia here. Oh God, it's a loop, but I can't read it. Does anyone know the right stuff to click? Because yeah, if you can't read the text, there's just no way to know. Do you have to do the fight every time? Because, boy, that'll wreck your AP. Well, yeah, these segments they've done a few times. They're always a pain. Uh, you can't read the language. Shame I didn't kill that guy. Wow. 
That damage resist must be pretty decent. I guess it's 20 or 30 percent. I think he just skipped it. Or did it make it optional or something? Huh. Oh god, there's three waves. I shouldn't have been casting all that garbage. I was just fucking around. Chat, can we have a game like Grand Blue Relink that's fake characters? That would be so much fun, dude. Why is it that Fate has this awesome IP and they always just make shallow garbage for their video games? And then some idiot's gonna be like, Fate Samurai, do you realize how like shallow fucking Fate Samurai is? Like, my god, dude. Like, I just don't get why they can never make actually good video games. Hell, I'd take a Slay the Spire clone that was Fate. I'd, I'd play that. Oh my god, Extella Link, dude. It's just, when you have that much money, it's like, why not hire... Because if you look at Time Moon's track record, uh, cause like Fate Extra, right? They hired a dev to make Fate Extra. So Fate Extra, Fate Extella, Extella Link, all these games, you know, they hire other devs to make it for them. But they always hire like these unknown, like shovelware devs that are cheap. Why? Like, why do, why are they going out of their way to like do that instead of, you know, actually trying to make like, you know, really good content because do you realize if they made a really high, like, profile video game that, like, real polish and it's the Fate IP? That would be huge. Like, it, it, it'd be so, uh, popular. But they do stupid shit like Fate Extella Link that is only gonna sell to, like, the niche. Checking it, I think you just happened to pick the right two choices. Wait, really? I, I was just totally clicking at random there. Oh, uh, that's funny. Had to happen to somebody. Ooh, I like that crit. Uh, not, oh, wait, wait, uh, no. So close. The thing is, only some people will buy bad games, right? So here's an example. Uh, like Elden Ring. Here we go. Elden Ring was a really high quality game, good marketing. And so a lot of people bought it that weren't even Souls fans and didn't really even know what Souls was, right? So, and Relink, so many people have played and bought Relink that weren't Grand Blue Fantasy fans. And then all the Grand Blue Fantasy fans bought it as well. That's what you want to do. Relink is like a perfect example. All of the hardcore or diehard Grand Blue fans bought it, and then a bunch of other fucking people bought it too, right? So the, uh, what the problem with Fate is all they ever get is the, the niche fans that are really into the IP because they don't actually make good games. Fate Samurai is not a good game. Now, it's a better game than, like, Extella Link is, but it's really not that good of a game. And Fate Extra is a terrible video game. Extella, Extella Link, all those other not good games. Uh, and it's, well, you know what's fucked? I've said this many times, but th and this is so fucked. FGO is probably the best Fate game. And that is not a good thing. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Extella Link is such a low bar. I am surprised we're not doing more damage. I should have done Atlas and uh, done the attack up, although apparently it doesn't matter. So uh, we never got anything out of our guts there. Oh, there's five enemies, eh? Not too worried about that. Mm. I'll go for the rainbow. The extra attack will hit pretty hard with the attack up. Yeah, Melty Blood is probably the best games from them, but they also have some of the, the lower input on that. However, that's a coincidence, by the way, because they did the same thing. They hired, was it French Bread or French Braid? I think it's French Bread. I, I always forget. But they hired them before they were a good company. Back when they hired them to make Melty Blood, they were nobody. They were such a fucking nobody dev. And by coincidence, it was like some nerds uh, that were like really, really into fighting games that even though they were like a nobody dev that they 
weren't worthy of a lot of money, etc., etc. They hadn't established themselves. They still like cared enough about fighting games that they were able to create a pretty good fighting game. But the, but seriously, think about it. Out of all the devs to get, they hired French bread, and back then they were nobody, right? Like, look at their uh, look at their portfolio back then, right? And like they became a somebody dev because like the uh, that literally the devs for that company are giant nerds, and they like met the Arc System Work devs at conventions and stuff. And then Arc System Works like took them under their wing and like basically like became their big brother and sh even shared their game engine with them and, and and all that kind of nonsense. And so now they're like a really uh, accomplished dev, uh, well kind of not not as accomplished as Arc System Works, but like they're still pretty like they're doing pretty good now. Um, but like that was just a coincidence. That was a, that they were absolutely trying to hire a shovelware dev again. Right, that one just happened to be one that had a lot of passion and was actually better than, you know, you would expect. Because seriously, that, that was not a, uh, a reputable company back then. They, they were total nobodies. Um, I should be able to kill one of these with a rainbow chain. Yeah, we get the crit here. Although, I guess I don't need it. Well, if I get the uh, NP here, I can kill both of them. Hit me. No, damn it. If he had attacked me, I would have gotten my NP. So, I think I have all of my Bond CE still. And I haven't used the invulnerability either. Let's see. So, the uh, Guts could go off this turn, but that's not our Bond CE. That's the skill. And then I could do the invulnerability to buy time to get the guts again. So I wonder how long we could have gone without having a uh, Bond CE guts go off. You've got to be kidding me. So, okay, this turn they would get rid of the guts. And then I would do invulnerability. So this would be on two turns. And this is not up, so you'd... The thing is, but that's, a, that's so much time though, you obviously, even in a harder stage, you would win by then, so... It's pretty hard for them to get to that Bond CE, apparently. Damn it. Yeah, Guts never procced at any point. Imagine if this was a 120 Herc, we'd have more HP, and then also we'd be hitting harder, so we'd be killing faster. At 120 and like all the 2k faux, faux paws, like the 500 attack up, you probably could get a lot of triple kills, like Buster might actually kill, especially if it crit, and you have the attack up, and then NP, and then Buster extra. And at the least, you could do Buster, Buster, kill one, then NP, then extra, the other one. So, I'm assuming we're not going to have, an, we might have like one more trial show up, but we're not going to do all seven trials. There's not enough time. Because th this kind of like section, you know, they're making like Antonio the big thing to deal with. And he's not technically at one of the trials. So, obviously there's some bullshit here. Like, you're going to fight all the trials at once, or something else is going on, or, you know, whatever. But there's, there's just no way there's enough time for you to do all seven. And I kind of noticed that from the beginning that the, the pacing wasn't as such that you would do all seven. Um, Bazette could be fun. I could get a better Bazette than that though. It's always Jolther again, but Man, I still haven't seen one of her uh, maxed out. The new mats are a bitch, I presume. I have Bazette 120 in all slot. All right, let's take a peek. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> so why not? That's, uh, you know, it's not like, there's no reason to use an alter ego here whatsoever, but uh, this could be fun. Oh fuck, she's quick though. 
You know what? I'm gonna use Jonah Arc, even though ours is not 10 10 10. But she got buffed, and I kind of want to mess around with that, so. What is Joan of Arc's overcharge? I forget. I know it's, I think it's the heal. So I know it's not the defense up, that's NP rank. I'll make her 10, 10, 10 when I can actually get the fucking skill gems. My main's 10, 10, 10. You have rats in this account? I have no idea. What, what were they rated up with? Cause I would obviously not have rolled on them for themselves. God fucking over him, dude. What's messed up is it's technically not even over him, but uh, that's a whole other thing. I don't think I have them. I don't I have Super Bunyan on a carrot or one of my accounts though, or something like that? I have so many dumbass five stars that I'm never gonna level. What rarity are they? Or. I forget who the five star of that even was. All oh, right, it was Raiko, but not actually the Raiko from our uh, from Remnant because that makes sense. Where's the good doctor? Is Santa Martha in the welfare shop yet? I'm assuming she's not. But that'll be, that'll be a huge boon to free to play once she is. Man, regular mash would be so good here. But she's got a battery and some damage up and all that. It's just it's a, uh, another a good option for uh, free-to-play supports. Also, she can stand in as a quick support because there's no actual quick support. So you get things like Hans on her. What's, uh, what's going on here? So I'm guessing even as just, uh, you know, an NPC version of Mozart that doesn't even realize he's a servant or any of that, he, uh, he's like still a musical genius, I would imagine. Although maybe in this version, he's not actually committing to music like at all. That'd be kind of a weird way to go with the character though. Mozart really trying to die. Taking fun of Antonio? Uh oh. All right, hold on, let's beam. No trash mobs this time. You fucking lied to me. Although I guess, is it just in the story segment? This is like generic ass boss music. That's disappointing. Um, oh god, I just brought a ruler to an Avenger fight. I didn't think that one through, chat. Also, we don't get the full 20%. I think I stun.
I'm not even sure if this music is unique. I swear I've heard it before. It's a shame I don't have anyone that can actually do crit damage here. And then you get that uh, present music for seven seconds. They really should have like that. Those songs should take over the stage music. And then if you get like a break bar or the boss in piece, then it goes back to the stage music. And you could also make it optional so you can turn it off, but like that'd be nice. Didn't quite break the bar there. Also, we didn't get enough to loop. Unfortunate. She's doing plenty of damage, though. So the flag is moving, her hair is moving, and her sword is moving, but then she's not even moving the slightest amount, so it just doesn't look right. I've definitely seen worse cut-ins, though, and at least it matches the, like... Uh, like, pose of the character. Like, fucking uh, Okita's doesn't match, and it's so bad. Very noticeable. Like, they just did not give a damn about Okita's animation update. Well, here's a fun turn. Too bad I don't have any of the NP up command codes there. They're, uh, we have them, they're just not on this hand. Pretty straightforward boss fight right here. If I make a video for this one, it'd just be a solo. It can be a bit spicy for a solo. Oh, he done triple attacked. He fucked up. 105k. Mozart solo. Yeah, good luck. Even at 120, I don't think he could do it. Maybe with necromancy and procs like four times. Might even need more than that. He does have the anti Avenger passive though, so at 120, 2k foe, the 500 faux paw thing. He'd be doing okay damage. Pre SQ coming up. More SQ. Can <laughs> I get Bob? I'm sure been showing that a lot. There it is. Where Mozart at?
So is Mozart giving us a pep talk? God, I will never forget that picture they just showed when it first came out. Someone made a version of it where Waver was standing there as well. Because back then you didn't have uh, uh, Veach and Oberim and, and uh, like Merlin just came out. No one was using him yet. Uh, you didn't have Castoria and Scatty. So everyone used Waver just all of the time. That shit was so amazing. That's an absolute classic, dude. So is Mozart preventing us from going batshit crazy? Why did we just get a blue command spell? So Mozart saved Mash's ass, then he saved the MC's ass. Saved everyone's ass in Lost Belt 1. Guy gets no animation update though. Caster balls. Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah, he's been the budget art support for a long time. He's got competition now, but you still use him. Reminder chat that Mozart's art up is 44% instead of 40% or 45 or what? I have no idea why they did that. It really is something, though, that a lot of Mozart's, like, classic tunes are still, like, household tunes, right? Like, they're still so fucking famous, even after all this time. But then fucking Say is a five-star. And Awawa. Like, just what the hell, dude? Can they at least give him like a top tier animation update, like a Caligula effort level one, you know? Not a Bodica level one. So did Antonio snap out of it? So Mo Mozart saved the day is what I'm getting out of this. You know what's lame though? It's like, because he's here, they're not going to use him again anytime soon. So he's not getting an animation update. And don't even get me started on Shakespeare. Caligula's, though, I am convinced, was because they wanted to do it in 5-2, and then they just didn't complete it. I'm pretty sure that was the deal. Okay. I mean, this is obviously the guy from, like, the trailer. Oh, is this his identity? Who would be, chat? Bob. Oh, it's CAG, huh? Wait, it's Alter? <laughs> Are they, either that's a lie or they're doing another, uh, uh, you know, Lancer Artoria Alter got added before Lancer Artoria. Although, the way this game is now, they don't do stuff like that anymore. If they add, like, the Alter version, they're never going to add the original. It's just like how we don't, we got, like, the stupid nymph, like, with the memories of, um, Van Gogh. 
but we're just we're just not gonna get Van Gogh, right? Bob. Yeah, it's so rare, honestly, like, that they do that anymore, where you might have, like, an odd version of a character, then they add the regular version, that just doesn't happen. Like, they said a long time ago, there's, like, a normal Paul Bunyan that's also a guy, but you're, they're just never going to do that. You, you don't get male Musashi. You're not gonna get regular Vortigern or regular Oberim. Like, if both of those fan bases get fucked, so. Lancelot was a long time ago, though. Like, they used to do it, you know, like before you get the Lancer, Altoria, you know, Alter, and then the regular one, but, you know, they just don't really do that anymore. Uh, well, you have to use one of these. Uh, we'll use her. We haven't used her too much, and she's probably the strongest anyway. Can you, uh, oh, no, no, I didn't think so. Oh yeah, Lancelot's obviously not an altar, but you still get what I mean, though, where you don't, they don't really do that, like, multi-takes on the same character anymore. It's more like multi-takes on the same version of the character, right? Like with Morgan's summer version, right? They're, it's not like they're, go they're not gonna do regular history Morgan. They're just gonna do more Lost Belt Morgan, right? We're not gonna get Vortigern. We're gonna get, you know, Oberim Vortigern, you know, again, but this time as a, you know, a caster or whatever. Um, that's just kind of the way they do it now. And I'm sure there's going to be some exceptions here and there, but not a lot. So, I don't know if this is a boss boss or just like a whatever. I wasn't really paying attention. I just realized we're really never going to have a good opportunity to test out Jonah Arc's buff because you fight Avengers so much here. So she kind of is just going to suck. So every single stage I think I've done this entire time would have been more practical if I brought Waver. But, um, not doing that. Finn is still decent. David's good. Dufu's fine. David's not too bad, though. Surprised I haven't maxed out his first skill. I have on my main account, though. You know, I really should um, get him 2k foe at some point. If this was my main account, I, I probably would have by now. It's just I don't play the ult as much, so I'd miss out on a lot of foe items. Pretty good. All right, let's see what this nonsense is. I really should use Constantine more, actually. Because he's a 5-star, I don't use the 5-stars too much. 
That's the whole. That's really literally the only reason I don't use them more. I I should just do it anyway though, especially on my ult because it's like, who cares? That's not an annoying noise or anything. Antoinette, yep. Looking like an absolute clown. Oh, jeez, I wonder who it is, chat. It's kind of weird that they did one of those. Honestly, I like regular Antoinette more. Possible this is a real boss fight already, uh, just because, you know, they have to wrap up the story, so they may not do a million preview fights like they were doing before. I know her hand is right here. All right. Crash mobs. Oh, how exciting. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. Probably cast this immediately. Wonder how much damage she's going to do. Damn it. Should have just done the uh, brave chain. I thought like maybe she'd have enough damage to one shot. Oh well. You motherfuckers. Hmm. Kind of a wash of a turn here. Yeah, I know. She doesn't have attack foes, health foes, CE stats. None of that. CE with an effect that does damage. None of that either. Jesus. Hmm. I could NP and kill them both. That may not be worth it though. Hmm, I think it is actually. Because if Hans died here, that would be really lame. I should have given her Hans's third skill. Man, we really do need Hans's five-star version. I think that would actually sell if he got the adult version as a five-star. I think it would sell fine. 
I don't think it's gonna sell as well as like Morgan or anything, but uh, I think it would do pretty well. Especially if he had like an interesting kit. And I'd probably roll for him too. To, uh, depends on like the timing and when he released and that kind of Camelot night. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like French night or something. A saber, technically. Come on, give me a lucky crit. Well, they both crit. A hey, triple crit, how about that? Rip evade. Okay, well, fuck that guy. AoE art slooper, take it or leave it. I mean, I would expect him to still be a support, but I guess you never know. I could see them doing a support that has a damage NP. I could definitely see that. Chat, can we get a five-star version of Hans, a five-star version of William Shakespeare, a five-star version of Mozart, and a uh, Avenger specifically five-star version of Blackbeard? This all seems reasonable to me. Um, like, pl like play Hell Divers on stream, probably in like an hour, I would think. I really actually just want Kojiro to have like a two-star Saber version. I think him being bronze is super fitting, but like Saber's his proper class, so it makes sense to be two-star instead of one-star. Okay, um, no point in NPing here. Let's see if Hans can get his NP. Damn it, so close, man. I should have put, well, I guess I get another turn. Motherfucker, dude. I guess I Hans NP to just get the heal, although it only hits himself. But, uh, yeah. I really wish we could get some fun stuff though instead of just these random ass Japanese five stars that they just forget about in a, a week. Sucks. Okay, now we got a new song. I think. Nope. Well, if Hans could NP one more time, that would be great. Probably don't do the attack up yet. I can rainbow chain or try to get Hans NP. Um... I'll do that. That was a tough call. More NP gain for uh, Ushi if we did the rainbow chain, especially if it crit and had over gauge, be huge. That's a, a little bit of damage. Uh, well, not as much as uh, I would have liked, but considering she had like no buffs at all, it's decent. 
Also, she's a story support and doesn't have, you know, proper upgrades. Wonder why they got it, but Hans didn't. Can I break here? Kinda unlikely. Oh no, we got it. And yeah, we had a bunch of crit buffs. Did I just see guard? These are permanent, so they're unremovable, but you can guard them? That's weird. That almost They almost never let you do stuff like that. Funnily enough, they did that in that stupid ass fight with the city girl with the stun. You could actually like immunity it and things like that, even though there was no indicator that you could actually do that. Because every other fight ever, you couldn't. So stupid. Well, we're about to explode from dots. Yeah, the fucking flying thing, dude. Yu-Gi-Oh moment. Yu-Gi-Oh season one, specifically. Oh, we can't get rid of the evade. I didn't pay- I initially had it, but I didn't pay attention to the fact that it was a protected box. Don't worry, guys, we cursed her. That'll, uh, that'll do. That's where having actual sure hit is good. One more hit. Honestly, though, we didn't really lose anything because, um, I'm about to get my NP back anyway. David could, uh, sure hit through that, but probably not worth. Yeah, it actually made no difference. Uh, it's funny. Although, I guess I could have NP'd that turn after attacking once. Also, I think I wasted the attack up. Like, having that now would have been better, obviously. This probably isn't video worthy either yet. I mean, you could, again you could do a solo, but nothing, uh. Like, no, no, not a team video is not really needed. Oh, we have to keep fighting. I actually kind of hope we all die to dots, because then I can coo solo the Berserker, guys. They probably are going to die. Uh, we don't have any healing left, so... Oh, Genji, though. How long can she last? Okay, well, there goes Hans. These dots do very little, apparently. I don't think we're gonna... I could maybe get Ku to show up if I tried to get them killed, but if I actually, like, apply myself here, like, she is not going to die. I could do this to try to keep David alive. Let's let's see him. <laughs> I'm curious if Kag is going to show up as an enemy because then he'll be playable soon. 
Unless his like model is not clearly not a playable character model, so I'm kind of just wanting to see what happens with that. Well, Hans is the only person that died. Or if it's a giant ghost, yeah, it's kind of on that. You know, giant ghost or like doing the same animation over and over again, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, that was only like barely a, that was like kind of a boss fight but not like uh the Nito chris one by any means what if they add the giant ghost that'd actually be kind of awesome if someone was actually a giant ghost and they made that playable i'm sure somebody would grail it kind of want to use jolter just because it's a berserker Guess I'll use mine because it's the one that's available. Yeah, the like generic class card servants would be really awesome. You could make them like mildly customizable. I think that'd be super cool. And then you got all the like go to go to servants. There's just so many, dude. I'm assuming this is just trash mobs, though. They love their trash mobs. Hmm. I guess I... I should have done that first and then done David's skill because then I'd heal that back a little bit. Imagine Hades getting added to the game, chat. Wouldn't that be nice? Like, why do we have Ishtar and Ereshigal? Quatsa, whatever the fuck, right? A lot of gods over here, but no, uh, no Hades, no Zeus, Aphrodite, Demeter, none, none of them. But Chaldea can't summon gods. Uh. Damn it. Yeah, I know. Of course we get Morgan bullshit, but can't have Ares. I, I kind of expect if we do get uh, Greek stuff, it's going to be way down the line in like 3.0 and there's like a whole different reason to be interacting with Greek stuff. That would be when I'd expect them to do it. And people are going to say copium, but I don't even think that's copium. I, I I suspect they will do stuff with the Greek characters eventually. I really wish, though, we could get some stories and events and stuff that are just based on, like, normal things that aren't ja Chinese or Japanese. Like, give me a Nordic event and you get a bunch of Nordic characters. Right? Like, Jesus. Asking for too much, apparently, though. He's got a really high crit chance, but I want the Hans NP gain. I can't believe we didn't have an Olympian event when Japan was hosting the Olympics. Yeah, I know. I, I, I think everyone was like, man, this would be so perfect. And they just 
didn't. I think we got Morgan Fest or something around then. I, I kind of forgot what it was. David got hands, man. Hit him with the cane. Oh yeah, David animation update. I think I overcharge Hans's NP here. Or I NP with Jalter and Art Art. That looks pretty good, honestly. Although I would rather hit the Saber because he gives more NP gain. I like how you have Brito Mart if daughter. 256. I would have appreciated a crit there, game. I could have done my star absorb and got it that way, probably. Would have been way more NP gain. Although she's probably about to get her third skill again. Although all the more reason to then get slightly more NP gain, because then I could in Yep. They look trash mobs though. Love it. Probably kill them both here. Anyone know what these guys' name is? I'm assuming they have to do with Antoinette. All right, easy win. I should have just brought uh, Achilles, Gilgamesh, Gwen. I probably could have three turned that stage, but it's hard to tell when it's a boss fight or a mini boss fight or just trash mobs. Oh yeah, my alt account doesn't have Ku uh, maxed the hell out. Bond 7, and on my main he's Bond 15. Not three turning story stages! Yeah, I know some people really are obsessed with that, even in story, actually. Who's Bond CE? Oh man. That's a laugh. Is this just trash mobs again? That's kind of what it seems like. Summon whatever here. Watch me do this, but then it's uh, not trash mobs. Oh, he's got a ways to go. Which one is best? I'm really not sure. I like that one the best. It's tough though. He's got good drip. Oh yeah, chat. Does anyone remember? There's a thing you can click in here somewhere that changes the NP voice line. But, um, I, there's so many options now, I don't know where, uh, I would think it's one of these. Or that. That's NP speed, I know that. It might just be this, honestly. I've never rolled on Moriarty, he just came twice on GSSR. Yeah, that's how it happens. I think I got Jolter once on GSSR or something.
That's a weird name, Carps. I almost hit skip there out of habit. This does look like trash mobs. I haven't done a GSSR in so long, and I don't plan on doing any... Well, one, it's really hard to do them on JP now if you're not actually Japanese. And then, um... I, j I want... The game needs to turn its shit around before I want to throw any money at them. But it also, it really is really hard to whale uh, in A-side now. You can. There's definitely workarounds, but... Uh, um... I guess... Achilles first to make stars in case I need a crit on the next one. Maybe I should have hit the uh, saber in the face. There's actually a chance I wouldn't kill it with the damage resist. Yeah, you have to have like an actual Japanese play account now or something like that. I don't get why they did that. It's like they just don't want money. <laughs> it's weird. It's not the dev. It's uh, like Google did that. I doubt FGO is happy about it, to be honest. Yeah, changing region because of conversion rates and all that. But I have to imagine the people that bother to do that. Well, I guess they do stuff in bulk. That I say, you have so many casuals that aren't going to bother with that. Oh, now he's big though. This is like um, Yoshi's Island, where the like witch. Koopa just makes a random trash mob really big. I wonder if I could break uh, a bar just Gwen nonsense here. My crit rate though is kind of meh. If I had star bomb, it'd be way better. I'm gonna try. Just one crit game. There you go. Oh man, he's got Pierce invulnerability. I don't think Gil will kill here because it's not a servant. He's got damage resist. He's not a servant or AOE. That music, though. I would like to point out how dead this thing would be, though, if we were being canonical here. Like, so fucking dead. Well, didn't get him. Can we kill him here, though? I should have given uh, Gil the art up, though. I think that would have done it. You know, I have to imagine, and I remember they said really early on in the Lost Belts, like canonically, you can't summon Gil in the Lost Belts. Uh, I'm pretty sure they named Gil specifically. And it was some bullshit like about the Lost Belts not having a record of a hero like Gil or some shit like that. 
But uh, I have to imagine if there's no plot armor nonsense, Aya would just delete Lost Belts. Because first off, Aya is strong enough to engulf the whole planet. And it literally dispels the, the, the moon cells, like virtual world bullshit. So it would probably just, because Lost Belts aren't the truth, right? Like they're very much so like a lie, right? And with Aya's, you know, truth effect, I'm pretty sure it would just delete the Lost Belt. Like, logically, that it would absolutely do that. But now, if Gil was in the story, they would come up for a reason for it not to do that, because uh, that would run the story, but... Yeah, there's, there's, it's not just Gil. Yeah, there are other servants that would just wreck some of these Lost Belts on their own. But if you look at like what Aya does, it really is like a massive counter to Lost Belts. Let's see if uh, we get to see a character sprite or anything here. I do need to wrap up soon though, so I can get ready for uh, Helldivers. This strip's not as good. It's good. It's it's not as good though. I do like the green though. I'll probably roll on him unless he's just the lamest like personality ever. Uh, but he's pretty cool. We'll see though. We'll have to see what his like vibe is and what his gameplay is and his animations and all that. Kind of funny how not traumatizing dead mash is for I think a lot of my community. I think most of the people that watch me are not in the mash fan club. Like I do not give a fuck, dude. Also, it's just so like obviously a fake out. Uh oh. So why are those the only two affected? Of course they have to have the booba shot. I guess we're fighting her again and not, uh, what's his face? I guess we'll see here. If this is a real boss fight, I might actually put this off until next stream. So I can like sit down and really, you know, do it. Um, cause I do want to get into Helldivers here, but hope maybe we'll fight them both and we'll get to see, uh, we'll get to see the, um, here. I, I, I'm, this is like the worst team ever, but I, I just want to see the, the character sprites and stuff. I have a feeling you might just be fighting her, though. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Okay, let's see if he's got, um... Actual animations here.
Got voice acting. Yeah, we'll see if it's a 5-1 situation. Okay, a good start. Okay, now he uh, he's gonna be playable. What was that sound effect? That's like uh, old arcade sound effects or something. What the hell? All right, let's try to at least do this until um, ENPs. Need to not die until then. Oh, I should put it in uh, speed mode now. Okay, that animation's cool. The uh, the hand shot thing was kind of lame, though. Does he got like RNG evade or something? I don't even. Oh, when I buff, I'm getting debuffed. The attack up is attack down, but the buster up wasn't affected. I wonder how that works. I wonder if his evade is only for like crits or NP or something like that. I should be careful. The fight might end when you break a bar or something. So I should uh, be careful here. I don't think they would do that here. I'm expecting this to be an actual boss fight. Surely it's fine. Blueless. I like his melee attacks. I don't like his uh, ranged attacks very much. But the melee attacks are cool. We probably can't see his extra attack here. Like, that's cool, though. Alright, here we go. Doesn't really matter, uh... He could be single target, we'll see. I actually hope to god he's single target. I really prefer single target characters, so... Not into that farming nonsense. They d single target is just so rare these days, though. Yeah, so far, I, I like him enough that I'll probably roll on him, but I'll have to, like, read on his character and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so far, he's pretty cool. We'll see, though. There's, depends on, like, kind of, like, when he comes out. Uh, if he's single target, I'd be a lot more likely to go for it. If he's AoE, that makes me care less, but, uh, we'll, we'll just see here. Oh, he didn't NP, he did his extra attack. That was like the coolest flap there. Damn, I guess we can't see it yet then. Boo! We'll see if the fight ends early. My team is actually doing way better than I would have thought. Oh, his NP bar got drained. Oh my god. Why? I- I- what the- what? Mash fucked up. Why- why would Mash drain his NP? Cause like him getting crit lower his- man, there's no way we're gonna get his NP in time. I'm either gonna die or kill them before that. Oh, we fucked up, chat. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe critting him makes uh, his NP get drained. I should not have stayed in slow mo. Wayne's NP is really cool, though. I can't believe how well this team is doing. Like, I, I was I wasn't even using my NPs at the start. I was whiffing value everywhere. There's like, no support. But I guess this isn't that hard of a fight. Okay, chat, all the characters in Fate lost. Which one do you want in FGO the most? Huh? Baba Yaga. Yeah, wow, that's a lot for Baba Yaga. She is pretty cool, so I'm looking forward to that too. And yeah, Ragnar's cool. I like a lot of the stuff there. Yeah, Ragnar, Baba Yaga, Lagartha's pretty cool. Uh, Percival, uh, but we already have that. Just not the saver. That's like the only one I'm kind of like, eh. Okay, now we get fucked up. So far though, this looks like a pretty easy boss fight. You uh, actually take it seriously. We might be able to get his NP again. I'll um... Oh, I don't understand those sound effects. Anyway, uh, just don't ever attack him again and hopefully it works out. Oh, Moriarty's so bad here. He doesn't have his strength in quests or anything. Not much damage there. Alright. Should be next turn here. Surely this time. Yeah, attack up is really bad here for some reason. Okay, that was kind of lame. That, that, that was kind of lame. Like, one, it's AoE, and like, that was just super boring and just like puke colors, and that, that, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Epilepsy, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't great. Uh, yeah, that's actually one of the worst NPs I think I've ever seen. That was really lame. Like, there was no cool stuff going on. It was just really straightforward particle effects, and they looked super ugly. That that was so boring. Wow, that was that was super disappointing. Like, holy shit! I I, I think that might be my least favorite NP I've ever seen, and that is really saying something. Shit, I mean, I still like him, like his design is cool, and like a lot of his attacks were cool, but that, that NP was, that was not great. Okay, chat, I'm gonna take a quick break. I am going to eat something real quick. I'm gonna get water, et cetera, et cetera, and then we're gonna come back with Hell Divers, which I'm super looking forward to. But it'll be like really short. I'm gonna make a, pe like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and just nom that down real quick, and then uh, it'll be Hell Divers time. So if you wanna check that out, I've never played it before. I haven't watched anyone play it. You know, I know it's a popular game. Um, but I've not actually seen any of it. But uh, don't skip the cutscenes. Yeah, obviously not.
All right, I'll be back in like 10 minutes, chat, if you're interested in Helldivers. And if not, we'll probably be playing uh, FCO more tomorrow. Uh, I'm try to catch up on the story here. But anyways, if you're just here for FCO, I will see you guys later. Take care.